Good morning everyone, today we're talking about the new way of editing on Lightroom. 90% of you have no clue about it, so let's dive right into it. What I'm going to show you right now will change your life. I want to talk to you about Lightroom profiles and why they're so amazing and why no one knows about it right now because it's fairly recent, it came out in Lightroom Classic 7.3, which came out like I think a month ago. Not many people have used them so far. So before we get right into the meat of what you can do with those new profiles, uh, why are presets different, uh, and also how can you create your own profiles because that's gonna be awesome. Well, I wanna just tell you that we're gonna be editing one photo, which is right here, that is available for you to download uh, right in the description below. There is a link, you can download the image, it's a raw file, and you can tag along. This is actually shot from the previous video, if you guys remember. Also, the profile we're gonna be creating together is going to be included. So what is so exciting in that new version of Lightroom? Let's go in the develop module and the first thing you're gonna see once you have that photo is that here there's something called profile that used to be at the bottom over here and it totally got moved here. It's simply the way Lightroom interprets images when they are raw and depending on which one you choose it's gonna cho uh, change the colors and the tones a little bit. What is game changing now is that you've got those little like square that look like kind of like nothing and here is where they hit the Instagram filters. What do you see here? You have the Adobe Raw, you have camera matching, legacy, all that which was already there before but now you've got artistic so you click artistic and you're like oh cool what's that well you see it does a lot of things now the really cool part about it is that it will actually apply it to your image and then a magic slider comes up here and you can actually slide it to change the amount that is applied to your image which is like imagine it's like having presets but you don't have to worry about adjusting all the sliders one by one after you've applied the preset you can just do it straight into the profile section which is absolutely awesome just to show you the difference between presets and profile i'm gonna take an image like for example that one which is really cool shot in lombok and i'm gonna apply one of my presets and i'm gonna apply the profile so you can see the difference now just fyi i just released my presets last week the link is in the description below. It would mean the world to me and I, I really mean it. It would mean the world to me if you could go check them out, maybe get them for you, your friends, your family, your dog and your whole village. That would actually help support the channel, create more videos and yeah, keep this adventure going. Back to our thing now. I'm going to take that image. I think I want to apply a preset like Bali 02 or ooh, actually maybe maybe I'm going to use my Lombok Siri. Yeah, I'm going to use my Lombok 03 and you can see this is what happens to my image. All those sliders on the right, all the tools have changed because the presets that ha have been applied. You can see everything changed. That's cool. Now if I want to use a profile and I created profile based on my presets, which is really cool. So if you guys already bought the presets, as I mentioned, I'm sending you an email right now with the profiles. I'm going to take that 03 profile and then I'm going to change the amount that is applied to the image. And you can see you're getting an awesome effect. It gets way stronger. I really love that preset. It really enhances the the skin colors and the red as you can see that's really nice and with the waterfall the green all that it's really cool now the magic part is that look we go back to our tools editing tools adjustments and nothing changed it's insane nothing changed which means you can do your own adjustment after it's already been applied it's like you can layer edits on top of each other without being too destructive to your image this is mind-blowing guys i don't know if you realize we're going from like the golden age to the internet age it's the same transition no i'm kidding i'm way too excited but you you get what i mean now you might be wondering how can i create my own profile well let's do it together are you ready for that you need the image that i linked below 42 megapixels super huge and then you're gonna open it in photoshop so photoshop boom open the image it comes out totally natural totally raw in camera raw when you open it in photoshop 
Camera Raw is basically all the development modules from Lightroom into that Camera Raw segment. So you won't get lost, it just looks different, that's all. So what you want to do to actually create your own profile is simply create all the adjustment to your image that you want. So first of all, we're gonna bump up the exposure so we see what we're doing. We're gonna go to a tone curve. All right, guys. So there we go, we've got our adjustments. Now you wanna come to the, that presets part because yes, you also have your presets available in Camera Raw. You wanna go down here where it says new preset. If you press new preset, you can create a preset here. Or if you press option or alt and click, you can create a new profile, which is absolutely awesome because when you're gonna be creating it, it's gonna be after available in your Lightroom profiles for classic and also for Lightroom CC. In case you didn't know, that works for Lightroom CC. You know the tool that came out with the cloud storage, all that, yes. But before you do that, just remember, bring your exposure to zero so that you can apply it easily to all the images. And then we're gonna export it as a profile. Let's just call it Super Chicago Test Profile. I press OK. And now it is saved somewhere on my computer. I don't really know where. Actually, I know I'm gonna show you in a second because I'm also gonna show you how you can import profiles at the same time. So for example, if you got my presets and I sent you my profiles, or if you just got the presets and profiles right now as we speak because you're awesome, I'm just kidding. I, I do a lot of plugs in that episode. I'm very sorry, guys. I have to say I got excited. A bunch of you gave me awesome feedback on what I created and I just feel excited to share it. I guess, I guess that's okay, huh? You have to be excited. So you go back to your Lightroom and you go to preferences here. Press show Lightroom presets folders and it takes you to actually the wrong folder, but that's totally okay because you're in the good area. So you go to camera raw and here there's something you, hey, by the way, it totally changed from version 7.2 and below on Lightroom. So if you get new presets from people, this is where you have to put them settings and here you can see your presets are all stored here in XMP file and basically if you download in my profiles you're just gonna drop them here in that section of in that folder this is actually the super chicago test profile we just created which is awesome we're excited we know where it is now go back to lightroom close lightroom restart lightroom you're back into lightroom and now what do you notice you see your super chicago test profile ptl which is amazing. Now you've got your raw image, you can apply it, you're super excited. By the way, I bumped up a bit the exposure so you can see. So now we have a profile and we can apply it more or less, which is pretty cool, I think. So to me, this is totally game changing in the way I'm going to be editing. Basically the profiles are, are filters that you can apply more or less. You can see, for example, if I take that image, I'm gonna just run you super quickly through it. I think one preset that looks really cool on that one is the Shibuya one. Gives a little night, nice uh, tones. I'm gonna bring up the light on that one a little bit. And then you can see I can increase the amount uh, that is being applied to it. That is just so simple. And there you go. That took me like two seconds and the image is sick. Look at that. I'm gonna do it again one more time on that one, which was drone shot in Lombok. Are you ready? If we take the tropical series presets that I turn into profiles, that is way better for everything that is water, tropical, beach, summertime, all that. Uh, well, look at that. We can apply the Arky 01 profile. That looks really good. Look at that. This is just so beautiful. I just love it. Then I can do a few adjustments. The image is ready afterwards. That is absolutely insane. I think this is so much faster. Look, that one, like shot in Portugal. Arky, Arky works actually really well on that one. Look at that. Boom, we just made it. It's just so epic. By the way, that picture, I would recrop it like massively, like something like that. The profiles that we created together is in the description also. So make sure you get everything, give it a try. Now, with that being said, guys, I wanna tell you, this is actually my second or third recording of this video, simply because I was doing a screen recording and QuickTime crashed while trying to save it, which means that I didn't have any screencast, I had to record it again. But long story short, 
Guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. You learned something that you're gonna go out there, shoot a lot more, and then come back here to edit with the new profiles. And remember guys, if you liked that video, smash that like button, leave me a comment below, make sure you share it with everyone you know that uses Lightroom, and maybe on the forums, all that, get the word out. That means a word to me, that really helps. And remember guys, there is the SUB, S-C-R-E-B-E -E button subscribe which actually means that you're gonna be joining this journey so make sure you hammer that button and there's a bell also you have to ring ring the bell so that you get notified every time I upload otherwise you won't get notified YouTube is really weird lately and on top of that uh, that's it I have nothing else to do guys I'm, I'm out of out of voice out of throat out of everything 